Hi everyone, Ralph here from your board game gateway. Um, welcome to this playthrough of Blood on the Clock Tower. Um, Blood on the Clock Tower is my favorite social deduction game where one player is a demon uh, and some other players are minions that help the demon and then everyone else is a good character that has a special ability. So every person has a power of some kind. Um, when you're dead, you're still in the game. Uh, so, you know, there's, it's not like Werewolf or Mafia, whereas if you die, you can't talk. This one, you can talk the entire time. You kind of live on as a ghost. And you still have a vote where the end of the game comes to a bit of a nice climax where everyone has a say, which is really awesome. Um, so, without further ado, I'm going to show you some characters. Um, and here we go. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you can see the script on your screen. Um, so this is a custom script. So this is a list of characters that a couple of people put together for our game specifically. So Blood on the Clock Tower has three scripts that come in the game. There's 99 characters total at the moment that are released. Um, so there's a lot of different mix and matches you can make and this is the result of a custom script. This is more, the, more of the advanced side of Blood on the Clock Tower. The introductory script that everyone should play is called Trouble Brewing, where there's only one demon, whereas you can see in this script, there's actually three possible demons here. Okay. Um, so let's just go through some of the characters. So you can either be a townsfolk, an outsider, or a minion, or a demon. So one player is a demon. The demon uh, is going to be one of these three things in the game. There will be two minions in the game, uh, so it will be one of these, will be two of these four in it, okay? These are our evil characters. Now this is going to be a 12 player game, so there is one demon and two minions. Um, there's going to be some outsiders, so let's first talk about the townsfolk, which are all these people in the top sector here, okay? These are your good characters. Outsiders, they're also good characters, but their abilities tend to hinder the good team okay so um we'll go through the list so the grandmother you start knowing a good player and their character okay so if i was the grandmother i will wake up during the setup of the game and get told okay well this other person they are the gambler i'll actually get told what character they are so it's good starting information the balloonist um, they add another outsider to the game. So normally the game only has, I think, two outsiders at this play account. Uh, but this will make it three if the balloonist is in the game. So each night you learn one player of each character type. So the balloonist will learn four names. They'll learn the name of a player who's a townsfolk. They'll learn the name of a player on a different night who is an outsider and then following night will be a minion, and the last night they'll know the name of a player who's the demon. It's not necessarily in that order. So the first night, the uh, the balloonist can wake up and know the name of the player who's the demon, but they don't know. They just get four names during the game. The gambler, each night, choose a player and guess their character. If you guess wrong, you die. So it's a good information thing. You can kind of learn who to trust if you are the gambler. Um... So I had a fun game with the gambler where I guessed, uh, it's not this game, so I'm not spoiling anything, uh, but I guessed um, a certain player was a certain character and I died. And I didn't know if it was the demon that killed me or if it was my ability that killed me. But um, yeah, it's, it's a good way to get information. The amnesiac ability is good. Uh, if you're the amnesiac, you don't know what your ability is. Each day, guess a, 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 uh, take a guess as to what your ability is. And you learn hot or cold, or closer or farther away. And you're kind of guessing what your, your ability is. At the start of the game, the person running the game, known as the storyteller, they will uh, create a brand new ability just for the amnesiac to kind of guess and work with during the game. If you're the artist, once a game, during the day, you ask the storyteller any yes or no question. Okay, so that's pretty much it you can get kind of ask them uh is the demon a fangu and the artist will get a yes or a no that sort of thing so it can be pretty powerful um i'll come back to the huntsman if you're the cannibal 
uh, if someone dies um, during the day or the night, um, if they are evil, you are poisoned. Um, however, if a good player dies, you have the ability of them. So if the grandmother died, um, the cannibal will eat them and they will get their ability and they will be the grandmother. And then they start knowing a good player and their character. What's interesting about the grandmother is you, you, that player you learn, they're known as your grandchild. And if your grandchild dies, the grandmother dies as well. So in that case, the storyteller will, uh, will pick what ability the cannibal will get um, because two people would have died. The Librarian's an easy one. Uh, this is in the base script called Trouble Brewing, so it's a beginner character. You start knowing that one of two players is a particular outsider. Okay? So if the klutz was in play, the Librarian will wake up in the setup of the game and go, okay, either this person or this person is the klutz. And they can do what they want with that information. If you are the general, each night you learn which alignment the storyteller believes is winning whether it's the good team or the evil team or it's balanced right now so it's a good way is an indication as if you recently killed someone during the day and that was a minion uh and then the the general finds out okay well the good team are winning you know like a, it's a good chance you know so that's a pretty powerful role in my opinion the oracle each night you learn how many dead players are evil so that's pretty powerful, especially later in the game, or if one per only one person died and you're getting starting to get a one, you kind of know that that one person is uh, evil. Because in this game, when someone dies, their character's not revealed. Uh, you're purely just going off what that person is telling you and if you can trust them. <laughs> um, the Savant. Each day, visit the storyteller and you learn two things in private. One is true and one is false. So... The savant might learn the witch is in the game and the fisherman has used their ability. And one of them is going to be true and one of them is going to be false. So it's up to the storyteller what they get told. Um, so, that, so that was the savant. The fisherman is pretty powerful too. Uh, as once per game, visit the storyteller for some advice to help you win. So that's just a use once ability. But it's important to know if the fisherman used that and then the fisherman died and the cannibal ate the fisherman, the cannibal could then do that again and get diff possibly different advice. Uh, the philosopher is once per game uh, at night, choose a good character and you gain that ability. If that character is in the game, that player is drunk. And what drunk is, and drunk is an outsider as well, you, don't, you do not know you're the drunk. You think you're a townsfolk character, but you're not. Uh, so... If, uh, for example, if I get shown I'm the grandmother by getting shown the grandmother token at the start of the game, I think I have a grandmother ability, uh, but I could be drunk. So that means I don't have that ability, but I think I do. So the storyteller can show me false information um, and I just sort of believe it to be true. So it's, you have to kind of work out that you're drunk. So anyone could be drunk. Um, so if, the, if there was a philosopher in the game, and night one, they picked grandmother, and there was a grandmother in the game. The real grandmother would be the drunk, <laughs> will be a drunk player. So there could be multiple drunk players if the philosopher uses their ability. Uh, but generally, the philosopher uh, waits for someone to die, and then they pick that player and they become that ability or something like that. Um, the other thing that's similar to being drunk is called poison. Um, if you are poisoned, you get false information from the storyteller as well. So you never really can completely trust your information that you're receiving. These are your outsiders. Um, so the barber, um, if you died, the demon may choose two players to swap characters. So that could create some confusion. Um, the klutz, when you learn that you died, you publicly choose one alive player if they are evil, your team loses. So if you're the klutz, you could just you could die and pick an evil minion or something, and then the, the evil team's going to win straight away. So the klutz is a fun one. Um, sweetheart, when you die, one player is drunk from now on. So if there's already a drunk in the game, 
and let's say the philosopher made someone else drunk and then the sweetheart died so there possibly could be three drunk players so it means the information you get from your abilities could be false uh, most likely to be false anyway now the fun one this is the little rescue mission in the in the script um the damsel all minions know you are in play if a minion publicly guesses you your team loses so if i was a minion and i just go i am a minion uh when everyone's together in in the game everyone's in the same room i go i am a minion i guess joel is the damsel and if i'm right the evil team wins straight away if i'm wrong everyone's going to think I'm a minion because <laughs> I just tried to win the game for the evil team. So it's a bit of a Hail Mary play uh, if you're evil, but it, it, it's a fun one. Uh, these are your minions. Um, I think I'm not going to go into too much detail. This is on your screen for a while. Um, and you'll kind of learn because in this game, I am actually one of these minions and I work with the evil team to try and win it for the evil team by killing all the good players so the way evil wins is if there's only two players alive and one player is the demon and the other player it could be a minion it could be a good player it doesn't matter uh if there's only two players alive and one is the demon the demon's going to kill that good player and it's just the demon that wins and the evil wins together so evil will win along with the minions so even if you're dead as a minion you still want to help your demon out <laughs> by changing the opinion of the good players but yeah i hope you enjoy this playthrough it's the very first one that i've recorded uh i played it on discord uh the other day and uh it was just uh it was a really fun game so um i hope you enjoy <laughs> bye <laughs> and every person has a special ability this is me I have not received a character as yet, but when I do, I will get a, my character there. And I'm playing with all these lovely people over the interwebs. Um, that's it. We're getting keen for a good time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I will be sending out characters. Here we go. And good night, everybody. Okay, so we entered the first night phase. I've muted myself in Discord. Uh, so you should still be able to hear me, but no one else in the game can. So the character that I got is a minion, being the godfather. So at some point, I'm going to get a message from the storyteller, um, being the person's name Ty is Tyler. Uh, Tyler's going to message me. He's going to tell me who the other minions are. We should have two minions and then he's going to show me both of us who the demon is so my ability is i start knowing which outsiders are in the game and if one died i get to choose a player and kill someone so yeah this uh could be very interesting anyways let's uh unmute here everyone and just wait for some storyteller information Okay, so we've got a bit of information there. We know the three outsiders are the Klutz, Damsel, and the Barber. Uh, normally there's only two outsiders in this game, but because I'm in the game, we get a plus one outsider count. So there's three total. Um, so that means that the demon can't be a Fangu. It could either... Yeah, it can't be Vigor. So I think he's a Nodashi. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go here and put him as a Nodashi. I don't know what character <clears throat> the other minion is. So it could be any one of these. Uh, I don't think he's a Baron, because uh, he gives more outsiders. He's either the Assassin or the Witch. I hope he's the Witch. That one's more fun. If someone nominates, <laughs> they die. <laughs> so um, he only gets to put that hex on one person a night. So let's see how we go. I might see if I can meet up with uh, DKV. Because he gets three evil bluffs, and if he can give me a bluff, it means I might survive a bit longer. <laughs> Rather than, and that way, my ability, I get to keep it. See how we go. When the cannibal dies, two players will be drunk. <laughs> yeah, sorry it took so long. I mean, you're all just so important. Um, you know the drill. 
Uh, I was fighting a demon and about to kill him because I'm so awesome. But then a couple minions jumped me and I lost. Avenge me. Hello, Tyler. Can I talk to you? Uh, can we talk? Yes. Big Bert, were you asking things? Yeah, I, mean, I can talk. Uh, Comrade Chad, would you like to chat? Yeah, sure. Uh, DKV, do you want to chat? Uh, yeah, let's talk. Yeah. Hello, Hello, my demon. Uh, what are you? I am the godfather. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, you can have Balloonus as your bluff, and you can be the reason why there's another outsider, if you want. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, I'm going to take Oracle. The other bluff is Grandmother, if you prefer that, but I don't know. Uh, no, Balloonus is cool. Uh, it would be cool for me to stay alive. Do you want to know the outsiders that are in play? Yeah, that would be helpful. Yeah, okay, so we have a Klutz, a Damsel, and a Barbo. I'm convinced. Okay, I'm the Nodashi. Yeah, I'm convinced that. I think you're Nodashi. Yeah. Sorry, Klutz, what? Klutz, Damsel, and the Barber. I'm convinced that Comrade Chad's probably an outsider because the Nodashi poison would extend all the way to Jason and be hard to track it. Um, so I think Comrade Chad is extremely likely to be an outsider. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know. They they could not be, but I'll probably just try and random, randomly push on them. Okay, right, and maybe I'll, they're the uh, damsel. And if they're if they're very willing to die, they might be the damsel. If they're an outsider, does that make sense? We'll see. Perfect sense. Uh, I'll try and talk to Nana Spock. Okay. Yeah, cool. I'll head back up. Thanks. I probably won't try and talk to him. Yep. No worries. He has a grandmother. Yep. I'll head back up. Cheers. What evil team? I don't know, DKV. What is your evil team? Uh, Max and Nick. Okay, cool. Thanks. Good picks. Let's let's kill DKV first, though, because uh, they That's have to be me. the demon. Max, you want to talk? Uh, it's day one, so I'm gonna have to say no. Mm. Max is doing his thing. What about you, Jason? You want to talk, Jason? Um, you know what? I'm I'm in solidarity with Max. DKV. Okay. I'll Okay, uh, Tyler, back. can I have a console, please? Absolutely. How can you be in solidarity with me when you've already chatted with us? No, uh, yeah, like... okay, I had to do something with the storyteller. Mm. It's different. Oh, okay, no, yeah, okay, man, no I can talk. But... Alright. Oh, there's a savant on the script. That means I can come up with crappy savant info. I don't really know what to do. So any of you guys want to claim Damsel? It'd be pretty useful. <laughs> sure. Uh, so do we know there's a Damsel in the game or something? I don't know. We don't know. I'm, I'm hedging bets. Ah, okay. Do you... That's what the story tells us. Me, uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Just quickly. Uh, who of you know if there's a damsel? I mean, I suppose any one of us who sees the Huntsman token, right? True, so true. That's pretty true. Uh, or a minion. How dare you give them the good loophole, Max? I was trying to get another <laughs> minion. God damn it. Um, comrade, Dad, do you want to talk? Sure. So, um, just for those watching at home, I'm trying to stay quiet, um, mainly because I don't want any info to come out about me. Pretty powerful role. Uh, typically, players be quiet in a script this advance, and we'll see how we go. Uh, Max, you when you me? do the record, when you do your record, uh, please note that Nano asked me to chat. Yeah, I want to be evil talk. when they're evil. We can talk. Who wanted to talk to me? Uh, Nina Speck. Yeah, we can talk. God, every time DKV opens his mouth, I'm like, you're evil, right? Oh! Uh, have, you, have you met Dan? Dan's always good, though. <laughs> Dan is not always good. Uh, I, I have that problem with Dan, with Lucas, and with uh, Zog. I just always think they're evil. You must always think I'm evil, then, too. No, Max, I don't think you're always evil. I think you're always a snitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a snitch for evil, maybe. Nah, because you keep track of people's uh, oh, no, like, chat. I haven't done that in weeks. Weeks, he says. 
I haven't played with you in weeks, Max. Last I played with you it was when you got killed as the Boom Dandy. Long time ago. Uh, back when you had uh, the Max from the Goofy movie. Yeah. I mean, I... Yeah. Does anyone want to talk? Yeah, I'll talk, Chad. No, I'm Officer Milk. Talk, Chad? I'll talk, Julie. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, I see you're still keeping track of your win loss rate, although the yeah, win rate it, is it hasn't, pretty... it hasn't changed much, yeah. Uh, but you now need to win five games in a row, uh so that you can literally have a hundred more wins than losses. Yeah, it's it's hard. I keep getting good and I keep losing. We'll win this time. Well, hopefully you got evil this time so you can win. That's a trap, Max. Don't answer that. As your lawyer, I'm going to tell you <laughs> not to answer that question. Wait. As my this... demon, you recommend. So, Fuck, so that, that implies that Bord is evil because he's hoping that you're evil. I'm I mean, anyone who's evil think. probably hopes I'm on their team. Hmm. That's a... All right, so as the balloonist, which is the role I'm bluffing as, I actually just learn one player of each character type, so I'll just learn four names. Um, so I will learn I will learn um, a particular person who is a townsfolk, I'll just learn a name, I'll learn a particular person that's an outsider, a, piece, a minion, and a demon. But I uh, um, never get told what role they are or which type of person they are, I just get four names. So the first name I learn could be a demon or a outsider, I just don't know. All right, everybody has made it back up here. I will open up nominations right away, but feel free to talk. Damn it, Bort. I went to copy that. I'm like, wait a minute. This is not real info. Um, I, we, we don't have a... Okay, actually, that's not true. Never mind. So has anyone heard of any outsiders? Uh, Digbert nominates Max. <laughs> oh, I wow, heard wow, okay. Wow, okay. Digbert nominates Max. Why? Let's just rip off the band-aid. The band-aid? Yeah. Band-aid. Okay, Max. Uh, bad choice, but, uh, whatever. Wait, pretty, what is the pretty, accusation? Pretty bad choice. Uh, rip what off the band-aid. It's just a random nom. That's it. It's, it's random. All well. right, I'm running up with six. Uh, look, I wasn't witch curse, guys. Cool. There's witch actually on this. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. As much as I want to vote for this, the new rule says I'm not allowed to no, kill Max because he's usually evil. <laughs> now, stones nominate stones. <laughs> All right, stones nominate stones. Why? Um, I think this will be very revealing. Wait, do you want to die or? Um, I do want to die. That's actually, good. I... <clears throat> Can I? Yeah, you're a really bad kill stones. No. Um, yes, I might be. I'm in a weird position. I'll explain it all tomorrow for you. All right, everybody. We need six. We're going to run it. Bro, I'm checking to see if, like, Serato is on script. Uh, I'm pretty sure I figured it out. Uh, but, like, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. This is a very bad kill. Good. No, it's, know, it's pretty good. It's not, it's not good. I promise. Hearing mixed signals, is it good or bad? It's good. It's actually bad. <laughs> but, okay, bad for In my you? book, there's a 50-50 this is a bad kill, but it might yeah. be a good kill. What the hell? All right, Jason nominates NanoSpark. <laughs> It's not Jason luck. nominates Nanospark. Why? Yeah, we got a 50 for 50 percent chance that Stones is, is a bad kill. Let's let's get a let's get a good kill. Well, that's right. Why is Nano a good kill? He's not kill okay, let's let Nano talk. I guess. Uh, if Stones is a bad kill, I don't know. I don't see why that makes me a good kill, unless there's something I'm not aware of. Oh, that was my defense. Okay, I'm gonna run it. Stick the ties. No, this is a pretty good kill here. I think you'll understand why later. When I say bad kill, I don't mean like really bad kill. Okay. It, it could be it could be a catastrophe. I don't know. It's I. 
I just really would rather kill okay. anybody but you, to be honest. Not enough. Uh, Bort nominates DKV. All right. Where are you, Bort? You are over here. Bort nominates DKV. Why? Uh, minion panic. <laughs> All right, DKV. Um, well, I don't know. I don't know a lot about stones. Uh, I didn't really want to vote on him. But also, I think it's going to be difficult to get stones off the block unless we have an eel pink pointing to a player. Uh, I'm a role that's at least powerful enough that they don't want to die right now. So, I'll let you guys do with that with what you will. All right, six is a tie. That's not how you minion panic board. That's not how you minion panic. Look, there's a... Is there an Undertaker? No, there's Cannibal. Uh, as your buff will claim minion and guess Max is the damsel. Alright, as your buff has claimed minion and select Max, did you say, as a damsel? Yeah. Alright, there is no effect. Okay. Uh, okay, can somebody kill me, please, Digbert? No, please don't do that. Why? I would rather die. Leave it on me, please. Alright. Okay. Not as you do this. Should probably say I'm not the min a minion, so they still have their vote. Oh, right, their guess. Ten seconds. Right, there's no poppy girl on the script, right? Okay, yeah, because I, I thought like for a second I might have just fucked the good team, but because if there's a poppy girl, what? I don't know if I'm a minion or not. I'm so confused. Why did you? What? Why did you claim? All right, stones been executed, though? and stones died. Why Good not, night, everybody? Ah, because very nice. Thank you. That makes you appear evil and no one will trust you. Mm. Okay. Is he trying to back uh, out of your, your I've also claim? claimed psychopath as a, as a town talk <laughs> before. It's fun. It's you should try psychopath it. Psychopath really is fun. different. Like no one will die and they're like, Oh, you're just bullshitting. Like if someone died, then they'd be like you're evil. For all like, you know, say... but Max is the damsel, and I just proved myself by guessing the damsel <laughs> and not correctly. All right. Well, then to Max, you'll be confirmed, and to the rest of us, you'll be like, uh, you're just the minion who guessed wrong. Uh, well, uh, if I am, then good news. They don't have a guess anymore. If I'm not, they still have a guess, so be careful. Yeah. Don't mind that. A cannibal eats a damsel. It's a new thing, it's right? It gets resets. <laughs> okay, so that was day one. Um, so I'm going to say I learned Nanospark day one. I'm going to say I learned uh, Enzo Puff night two uh, because I am claiming Balloonist. Um, I'm going to start talking to people today. I'm hoping Stones was an outsider because it means I will then wake up and kill someone and the demon will also wake up and kill someone. Um, I explained drunk before, but poison works similarly, but the note dashi says your two townsfolk neighbors are poison, so it means Enzo Puff and Comrade, whatever they are, their abilities won't work. Um, so I am an evil minion, I'm trying to help DKV, so me sort of asking why do you claim minion to Enzo Puff was just to try and get some heat over here, because that was weird. Um, yeah. What else do you give? I, uh, honestly, what I tend to do is I look at all the roles that are not in play, yeah, that are not demon bluffs, or like sometimes I'll include the demon bluffs if I'm feeling yeah. feisty, and then you choose whatever is the most powerful and you give that to the yeah. That's what like, I'm looking for. It's Huntsman like... choosing the damsel is so rare that I reward it by giving the most yeah. powerful role to that player. I mean, you should. It, I. I, think I, I, I mean, you should, but you don't have to. You yeah. can turn the cannibal into a librarian at that point if you want to. Well, that, it depends on the time. At that time, it may, that might be the most powerful, learning who oh. the drunk is. It could it's help. also pretty late in game, usually, when that happens, so giving a more powerful role later in the game. Yeah, but you could also be use it to out an evil player. If you become a role and an evil team's claiming that, that's just as powerful sometimes. Like, that's as powerful as, like, a bounty hunter there or something. Oh, you know, speaking of bounty hunter, uh, fun little interaction I realized. If a cannibal, if someone gets turned into the bounty hunter, like a Philo bounty hunter, 
will not make an evil player, but they will still ping evil players. Because it's uh, the one townsfolk becomes evil is a setup rule. Uh, and since it's not the bounty hunter didn't exist in setup, the, it doesn't work anymore. It's like if the pit hack changes uh, the evil turn into a baron, it won't add two outsiders. So Philo Bounty Hunter would be a really powerful setup. Okay, so I wasn't contacted by the storyteller, so that tells me that Stones was not an outsider. So I'm going to write that down there. So it means there's three outsiders still clutz, Damsel and Barber, and it's one of all these people. Not Nano, but yeah. Um, I might start talking to people today and see who I can trust. <laughs> All right, good morning, town. Nick has died in the night. All right, Stones, let's go quick. All right. Hey, Nick, uh, you want to talk? Sure. All right, easy, above. Let's go. Uh, no, um, no, no, Spark, you want to chat? Uh, Stones, Chip. you want to chat? Oh, Stones is good. Hello. Hey, um, I'm the godfather, mm -hmm. so I know, uh, I know that Klutz, Damsel, and Barb are in the game. Um, Klutz, Damsel, and Godfather. Uh, Barber. Sorry. Barba. Okay. Uh, yes. Who are you? Uh, so I am the assassin. Awesome. And what are you claiming again? Uh, I am godfather. I'm claiming the balloonist. Um, DKV is claiming Oracle. And um, my balloonist info, I'm going to pretend that I saw you and Enzo Puff. Okay. And then I'm just going to pull out two other good players. Okay. Oh, yeah. Enzo Puff claimed to me uh, an amnesiac or philosopher. Oh, okay. Right. I'm, I'm hoping his uh, damsel play uh, put some sus on him. Yeah, me too. So, do you have any idea who the damsel is? No, uh, uh, who, who who is? Damsel? No, no, no clue yet. It's too early to tell. Uh, by the way, you can still do that when you're dead. Oh, guess the damsel? Yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, you can. Yeah, as soon as... It, it, anytime in the game, we can be dead, and one of us can go, I claim minion, and I think Nick is damsel. And then if he is, we win. Okay. Um, cool. I've heard, I think Comrade Chad might be damsel, possibly. Yeah, uh, uh, DKV yeah. thinks Comrade yeah. is, is an outsider. I just don't know what one. Oh, he DKV learned Comrade Chad is an outsider? Well, he, he's got a suspicion he is. Okay. Because uh, when I talked to him, he um, I told him I was the huntsman. And then he was asking about... Um, okay. I guess, so, yeah. So you're going to claim Huntsman? Yeah, I'm claiming Huntsman. I think you're going to run into the real Huntsman, so the other bluff that's not being used is Grandmother. Uh, if you want to say you saw me as the balloonist. Uh, okay. I could do that. It might not be believable. It yeah. might just be just getting the CC with the actual Huntsman. Yeah, fair enough. Well, if you're running into a double claim, you reckon just use your ability. <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah. The assassin one. but I can still get the clutch slap, sir. Yeah, that's right. Uh, should we go back before we're talking too long, I guess? Definitely. Thank you. Thanks. Wow. Let's see. Um, Jason, do you want to check? Jason. Asking? <sighs> Uh, Rufio. Yeah. Rufio. Yeah, let's have a chat. Where is Rufio? Yes. Uh, okay. Bird, do you want to talk, dog? Oh, that's you. not. Hello. Hello. All right. What's up? Um, nothing. I just don't know anything about you, so I thought I'd come say hi. <laughs> okay, that's cool. What do you think about Nano Spark? Um, <laughs> yeah. So Nano Spark, uh, I just chatted to him. What did he claim to me? You good? Do you, yeah, does yeah, he, he read claimed, good? Um, well, obviously yeah, he's gonna yeah, claim like, good. I, I don't know him, but uh, he claimed Huntsman to me. But that Huntsman, kind of, that kind of like um, with Enzo Puff doing the damsel claim, like Huntsman might be an easy bluff. 
as well. I agree. But um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know if um, it's withholding anything. Okay. I just think uh, I I just think Nano has like a fifty percent chance of being evil from my from, from my perspective, I should say. Okay. Cool. No worries. Uh, well, I'm. Uh, I don't know if I can trust you or not. Because <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, who, who, how can I trust you? Give me a reason to trust you. <laughs> no, l listen, we, we don't, I, I don't need to know anything about your role. I just need to know, is NanoSpark evil? I don't know. I got information that might, that, that may be, but I, I kind of don't want to share it. It's a 50, right. it's, well, it, it's so it's ambiguous. Fine. Yeah. If he's claiming Huntsman, that's enough of a reason for me to want to kill him. Okay. All right. We'll see how we go. <laughs> cool. I'll, I'll, I'll vote for it. <laughs> So does anyone have any leads on minions yet? Um, Bort, can we have a chat, actually? Uh, on minions? No. Uh, sure. Thanks. Hi. Um, Hello. Uh, I, uh, uh, give me a reason to trust you. I, I got some info, but I don't know if I should share it. Um, uh, I don't really have too many reasons to be trusted so far, I must say. Do you want to give me like a three for three? Uh, sure. General Klutz Fisherman. Okay. Just typing it on my thing. Thank you. Um, I'm just going to tell you who I am because I think it's kind of helpful. Um, if you are one of those things, I hope you're that you are. Um, I am the balloonist. So, so I got shown two people. Uh, one is Enzo Puff. Uh, the other one is Nanospark. Um, I got shown Nanospark Night 1 and Enzo Puff Night 2. Right. Um, you don't have any... Uh, you don't know who they are just yet? Like, is one of them claiming well, outsider? I haven't spoken to Enzo Puff, but during the day yesterday, Enzo just said, I claim Minion and pick somebody. Uh, yeah. And Nano, uh, I don't... Uh, the info I got was that he's claiming Huntsman. Right. So, um, so like, like what they both, like what Enzo did publicly and what Nano just claimed to me kind of could be a minion thing. But I, yeah, don't know. Uh, one other thing to note is that Ezio has visited the storyteller today. It could just be a bluff that... Uh, I don't know what he's bluffing us. Like, like uh, what yeah. his character is or anything. Yeah, uh, but right now it seems that they're bluffing as some sort of townsfolk if they're visiting the storyteller. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> or they could be asking some mechanical question about things as well, uh, like bluffing at the same time. But uh, yeah. I, I'm going to nominate uh, Ezio today, so... Hopefully we'll learn who he is. Sounds good. I'll vote for that. All right. Cool. Thanks. Well, All right. Bye. bye. <laughs> We're going to love that. Julie is getting a lot of chats today. It is... Yeah, it makes me think she's probably good. If, like, the entire... It makes me think she's probably evil. Because, like, I... she can't be confirmed good, can she? Oh, Grandma. she might be a grandchild, grandmother thing. Yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, she might be good then. Oh, quick, while well, Nano's not here, anyone got anything on Nano? Uh, Border Max, do you want to talk? Uh, sure, let's go. Um, Max, do you want to chat? I haven't spoke to you yet. Uh, we can chat tomorrow. Okay. Okay, let me rephrase. Anyone else want sure. Nano dead or just me? Yeah. I don't care who dies. I'm impartial to it. Why oh, do we geez. want Nano dead? I prefer not to talk about players uh, in public where they can't defend themselves. So none of you guys have incriminating information against Nano Spark. No. no. I've already spoken to you, Jason. I will not confirm nor deny the existence uh, of information without the press real quick. Defending party. Who wants to talk? Sorry? Nick. Nano, uh, Jason's sure. attacking you. Jason? That's true. Yeah. Pick a room, Nick. Jason. Sure. Okay. Comrade Chad, do you, do you want to chat? Mm hmm. Let's do it. What's uh, up? 
Uh, nothing. <laughs> I just thought I'd say hi. I, I um, don't really have any information about you, and I want to share something if I can trust you. Okay. Um, well, I am either Barbara or Damsel. Okay, cool. Uh, I am... Or Klutz. Sorry? Or Klutz. Oh, okay, so you're claiming one of these outsiders then. Mm-hmm. Cool. Um, well, I think there's an additional outsider in the game uh, because I am the balloonist. Um, so last night uh, I got shown Enzo Puff and the night before I got shown Nano Spark. So um, I, I was told Jason and bought this as well um, and, and just yourself. So um, I just kind of feel like uh, a lot of people are gunning for Nanospark now, but I don't know what other information they got. But Enzo Puff yesterday claiming Minion and pointing as, as, as someone as the damsel, like, and then kind of played it off as a joke. That kind of felt weird. So I think I got shot uh, Minion of Enzo. I but... believe that Nano is your townsfolk. Close and whisper. It's time to head up. Okay. Thank you. What hey, was my what, Julie? I want to give my information out. I'm the grandmother. That's it. Who said that? Stones. Uh, Julie, you asked me something. Uh, what did you ask me? Sorry, I just didn't hear. You said that as you said that as the amnesiac, you wanted to say something, or? Oh, uh, I claimed amnesiac and chose Jason. Uh, because I've played one game where the storyteller gave me a killing ability, so I was just testing it out to see if it was maybe the same. Okay. Are nominations open? Oh yes, they're open. Uh, Bolt will nominate Ezio Puff. Bolt nominates Ezio Puff. Why? Uh, well, they claimed Minion yesterday and uh, made a damsel guess. Okay, that's it. We'll pass it over to Ezio. Uh, I claimed Minion and guessed someone that I knew for a fact was not the damsel, uh, as a joke. And then that was also just to test my amnesiac power because I didn't, don't know what it is yet. Uh, I will state that I th I don't mind dying, but I think this is a horrible idea. Uh, but y'all, if y'all want to do it, I'm willing to go for a re-rack. A re -rack. All right, everybody. We need five. Going to run it. Let's get him. Actually, no. Actually, I'm I'll the amnesiac. Your... It's not him. I'm the amnesiac. Oh, I'm up the amnesiac, but uh, this is still a bad idea. What are you really? He said, yeah, he said it's not a bad idea, but uh, you know, yeah, it's a re rack. <laughs> it's a re rack, so he's claiming the saint minion. Thick is Thanks. enough. As you as you pop on the block. There's a cannibal on the script, and we're just making really bad executions, so it must suck to be the cannibal. That's all I have to say. Uh, it's fine. I I'm, I have a chance of ending the game now, so it's fine. Yeah, that's Don't worry fun. about it. I love that, as you know, that's great. Well, it's better to I... kill Minion than... My, for all you know, cases. my amnesiac ability is I'm the saint. Um... Okay, second call for nominations, everybody. Yeah. Honestly, Digbert nominates Digbert. All right, Digbert nominates Digbert. Why? Uh, I hope you all perceive this as panic, so that way you uh, execute me tomorrow when I don't die in the night to give the cannibals some uh, food, please. All right, everybody. Stick is a tie. Do you want to die today or tomorrow? I don't care either way. I don't want to risk losing the game. We're not going to lose the game. Well, we're not going to lose the game. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, we might, uh, because I already have, like, my choice made, and either I'm giving well, them the win, throw the game. or different. I'm it's not choosing to throw it. I've already made my choice, and I'm either dragging them down or with us, enough. or giving them the win. It's a clutch claim. Yeah, well, I nominated myself for the first day and died, and there's no minion that wants to do that, so you can probably pick me and be we safe. We suggest people, if you're going to do a clutch thing. I choose dead players. I have to choose living players. Last call for nomination. I know, can we make some suggestions before you... And I will be choosing the one person who hard claimed to me the whole game. Can I... Eamon has a bluff. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Like... <laughs> 
<laughs> I I told y'all it's a horrible idea. You could have mentioned Clutch thing For earlier. For what it's worth, as you know, I'm in a grandmother pair with a dead player. Wait, also, Someone else board to... can't possibly be true. Can we just... If you, Ezio, if you pick me, I'm in a grandmother pair with a dead player, and the game will 100% continue. Uh, it'll but, also continue. Uh, but, but I, I want to choose Max. Yeah, no, that's a good choice. No. Ezio. Yeah. Not really. I'm not, your, I'm not your boss. Do what you want. But just well, say. can I just throw no, out that if Bort, not... if Bort is the savant, then they're definitely poisoned because the fate no, is... That's not the real Bort savant. is not so. the savant. He's Both just... of those statements are mechanically impossible. That's yeah, what I was um, going to say. So yeah, it would be it's intentionally like, nonsense information. Uh, Stones, who's it. your grandchild? I'm not revealing that yet. Well, I was going to choose them, but okay, never mind. Dude. Just Don't pick me, them. dude. It's fine. The game will not end. Don't choose Stones' grandchild. All right. Actually, yeah. Stones no. is who I saw as the drunk. It's not worth it. Don't do that. Who saw Stones as the drunk? I saw Stones as the drunk. All right, I'm going to do a final 10 seconds. Okay. I don't really want to yeah, choose. So that's why you're not damn to choose. That's why you're not a grandmother because... confirmed. Like seeing someone as the grandmother as a drunk. I think we just, should vote on that. Can do that. Uh, I think that we should. There's definitely no confirmation in seeing someone. There is drunk. absolutely confirmation, and I will oh, elaborate. Wait, everybody, I'll I'm elaborate. You're wrong. Quiet, I'm going to nominate Max. I would uh, like to nominate late. Max. Wait, it's too late. Sorry, it's too late. Ezio Puff has been executed and dies. Let's do it, please. Uh, I will publicly claim Klutz and choose. It's good, I swear. Max. Thank you. Ezio Puff claims Klutz and chooses Max. We go to sleep. Okay. Uh, yeah, I I trust that. There's no That's reason everybody. to think I'm evil. So. Uh, that plus, I I I don't want to pick anyone that like so aggressively wants me to pick them. I mean, it's, I'm not aggressively saying it. I just presented the reason why I think it's a good idea as well. That's it. Yeah, yeah. but you also like asked me like twelve times. I asked you three times. <laughs> yeah. Not twelve. Yeah, and your confirmation <laughs> isn't really confirmation. It is. It is confirmation, but I. There is zero I confirmation. I'm not going to elaborate. It's more complicated than I'm making it out to believe. Yeah. Pound, who, who uh, else is trying to nominate or talking about nominating Max? Literally, oh, I, confer, I confirm Max now, so leave him alone. Oh, well, no, I was asking because before somebody else was... I just wanted to know because I thought that I heard somebody else say that. So I wanted to find yeah. out if that's true. Honestly, if you're the demon, I'm a very good kill because you. I promise you, you don't want the cannibal. Okay, so yeah, nobody else know. said that yesterday? I must have misclaimed. I heard Izio claim Klutz and Pick Max. I thought before yes. somebody got talked over while bombing them, but I might have. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, someone tried to nominate Max, and then the storyteller said it's too late. That was uh, because, because they, because they uh, thought that yeah. somebody had done it earlier and had been spoken over, is all. And I was going to pass to them because I thought I misheard. I'm sorry. Uh, See, this is also the reason why I damsel picked Max because I was hoping I knew they weren't a damsel and I was hoping to cause some chaos among the minions. <laughs> well, I think you're probably just a minion. Yeah, I don't, I don't see how the right minions think I guess. I don't actually think I see uh, I if I I'm a minion, then uh, that means one of two things. Either A, I chose Max because for some weird reason, or B, I chose my demon, and then why would I out as a minion and then choose my demon as a damsel, wasting my guess on someone I know is not the damsel? I don't understand why you would make a fake minion guess. I don't see how there's any upside to that. Because it's yeah. fun. Yeah. It's like also making a fake Slayer shot or like, uh, that's I don't know. That's different. You're claiming if Townsfolk is that and it can make the demon feel there's safer. No like there's no upside on it. Yeah. Fake All it does is give cover to minions but, to... If you I are mean, a Townsfolk and doing that, you're just giving cover to other minions to make guesses yeah. and not get punished for it. Right. I, mean, I still find it extremely fun. Right, but you can't uh, I do not about regret conflict, my so. choices. People are always so scared of, of, of like pretending they're minions. It's so fun. 
Like, I played one game with Vallejo where they were the poppy girl pretending to be Baron, like, the whole game. It was extremely <laughs> fun. That has a context where it's, they could be, there's a, like, a reason that poppy girls in play. Okay, so I just muted myself. Um, so, and so wasn't the amnesiac or the philosopher, as uh, someone told me. He was actually the klutz. So he's an outsider. He actually picked Max. Um, but because he's an outsider, my ability goes off, and I got asked, who do I want to kill? Um, so I just shot in the dark, killed Julie, mainly because I haven't spoken to Julie. I haven't seen DKV speak to Julie. Um if I killed Bort, Bort might have been sus of me. It's okay if I die, but if I'm in the game for longer, happy days. Because I know there's an outsider here. Uh, so there's one more somewhere. If I can, I'm going to speak to Nanospark and tell him about Comrade. Um, well, unless the assassin killed an outsider. Because let's just see a look at the night order. Yeah, the assassin goes first. So if he just killed an outsider, he may have been the actual amnesiac. But let's see, I'll see who got, gets announced. So they will turn into a different townsfolk. They will. That's yeah. the only weird case. All right, I everybody, sorry up. for this. Uh, I got everything, but uh, Julia has died in the night. Oh. Yes. So, Julie, it's... Uh... Uh, Max, Julie? can we chat? Bye. Uh, hey. sure. Julie? Uh, Ju Julie, can I have a private... Julie? Uh, can everybody, can yeah. everybody please stay... <laughs> Uh, in Town Square, I'd like to talk oh, to Julia okay, real okay. quick on the side. Yeah, yeah. I know what happens. Uh, hey, we'll get them back. Julia, I need to talk to you. Oh, okay. Uh, head to Storyteller Consultation. Everybody stay here. Yeah. Uh, All right, that's uh, interesting. That's kind of confirming, no? Yes, it does. It that's confirms. me. I don't know anything about what's going on. <laughs> what, <laughs> what, what happened? Uh, wait, what happened? I want to talk to you immediately, please. I, I, well, I just, uh, the only thing I can hear uh, about was the she'll... cannibal who got the... Uh, uh, I, Julie I don't want to out things, but essentially, yes. Yeah, yeah that's basically what, the only thing I can think now? of that would cause this, because then she also has to do a cloud spec. Yes. But um, she has to choose Max, because Max is confirmed. No, she's smart. It's it's no, because if no, she 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 well, that's smart. I, that's not yeah. the right word. No, no, no. There is a shot. There, it, like, no, we're I'm not going to chance it on you. Too. You're so too I'm suspicious. Guys, I'm the klutz who died in the night, and I'm going to pick Max as the good player. All right, oh, thank you. Fuck. Julio has claimed klutz and chooses Max. Thank you. And so, just uh, in case you didn't track that, I was the cannibal. Yeah. All, All right, Max, Julie, you. chat. Uh, hold on. No, I would need to talk to Stones first, and then I will talk to whoever just did that. But Stones, I need you right now. I for really think it's a big question. Okay. Because I've heard you. multiple claims that I need uh, to rule out. Uh, Chad, do you want to talk? Yeah, I'll follow you, Julie. Yeah, I'll talk. Then can we chat? Jason? Oh, uh, can I, I get some more Savant in for you? Oh, Absolutely. yeah, sure, sure, sure. Dude, everyone's ignoring me, and I literally have a fucking five-player confirmation chain, man. I'm molding. You don't, though. I actually do, Nick. <laughs> like... Um, Digbert, can we chat? Yes, let's go. Hi there. Finally, he wants to know what's going on, I assume. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused. Um, I'll tell you something for, that I've got first. Um, I've told, like, three players who I am. Uh, so, mm -hmm. I'm the balloonist. Okay. Uh, I saw Nano Spark, Enzo Puff, and Bort. You know, Ezio is outsider and Bort. All right. Cool. I am the. Get ready for this. I am the philosopher, night one grandmother. Oh wow! Saw... I, th I thought you were going to be the librarian. <laughs> no, no, and I'm, and that's why, because Nick is evil. So I saw Stones as the drunk. They have the grandmother token. Who saw? stones as their grandchild but they're actually the drunk which then when stones died julie the cannibal apparently got the grandmother ability but didn't tell me who she saw because she won't listen on, to but, me but if he's drunk she would just get the drunk ability no she thinks she's like she would she would have the drunk ability yes but yeah. she would think she has a different ability yeah right? she'll think so, she'll be the grandmother but she's actually the drunk exactly yeah. so she, she gets bogus info okay so, so that's you, what's so going on with those three and then we have Ezio and Max that are also confirming as well. 
Yeah, I know, and I know so Max is Julia, good, but I don't know what he yeah, is. Yeah, Julia confirms Ezio, which confirms Max, so that's five people. Okay, cool. Like, And I think that Nick is evil because that was Stone's grandmother as the drunk grandmother, who is also conveniently the one person saying that I'm not evil. And then there's an alleged Oracle who keeps saying there's zero when Nick was dead. So I think that uh, it's a bigger game, actually. Hang on. And so, so you're so probably you th- adding... So you think Nick's evil? I, I think it's a bigger game. I think it's ex- I think it's exactly Klutz drunk, and then Nick's evil, and DKV is the bigger. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I don't yep. have any information on Nick, so I yeah, I just got those three people that I was shown. So I've just been telling I, a couple of people who, what I saw. I, I haven't told yeah. anyone. I only spoke to you today about board. Like I haven't told anyone else that. The only person I know of <clears throat> in your ping is Ezio. So. Yeah, yeah, so Ezio is the outsider. Uh, Nano Spark is claiming a townsfolk to me of Huntsman um but that's a convenient demon bluff because if if the demon knows there's a damsel huntsman's the easy one um yeah. all right but yeah. i'm numbing you can be today i think okay cool is that fine with you yeah i'll vote for that all right cool bye Thanks, mate. that scene is still gone oh my god Uh, Nick, can we chat? I haven't spoken to you. Yeah, sure. Hello. Um, <laughs> I was just speaking to Dig, but they think you're evil. Uh, I don't really have any information on you. Uh, do you want to share anything about yourself? Yeah, I'm the amnesiac. Oh, okay. So, cool. So Enzo Puff definitely was the klutz um, with the cannibal play as well. But, yeah. Yeah. No worries. Um, I am the um, the balloonist, and I saw um, Nano Spark Night One, Enzio Path Night Two, and Bought just last night. So we know Enzo is the outsider. Uh, um, both right. both Bought and Nano Spark are claiming a townsfolk to me, um, but I'm hoping I survive one more night, and we'll see how we go. Yeah. Shit. Thanks, Nick. Or do you want to chat? Sure, let's go. Thanks. Dude, I don't know why Ezio is being held hostage. Like, he's going to tunnel vision really hard. Hopefully, Julie is steering him in the right direction. At Digbert, can we talk for like two seconds? Uh, I need to talk to exactly SCR Max. Well, I'll talk to you, Digbert. Hey, Jason, this is Stones. Would you like to talk? Or. Uh, Rufio, do you want to talk? Uh, sure thing. Hey, um, um Dig Digbert is probably gonna nom you today. Yeah. Uh I think we will lose. Um so Comrade claimed Barbara to me. I believe Stones believes that he is the sober philosopher. No, no, who no, tra- no, no, no. Uh Stones is the grandmother, but Digbert's the philosopher. But Digbert took grandmother night one. Okay. Fuck. So Julie, Julie was the grandmother night two, uh, but she was actually the drunk. But I don't know what she Julie saw. Um, but yeah, so um, I think Comrade's actually the damsel, not the barber. Can't keep. I think this is true. But if a minion's dead, can we just say I am a minion and Comrade's the damsel? Um. I couldn't find anything on the wiki. 
I don't know. I think you have to be alive and guess. Okay. I think Jason could also be the damsel, and I poisoned all the way to stones. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, so I think I think Comrade could literally just be the barber that's being straight up, and Jason's the damsel. Yeah, I told Jay Nano that he, Nano assassin kill killed Julie. By the way, who who did you Godfather kill? <laughs> Julie. <laughs> okay, I killed Julie because I knew she was a cannibal. We used an assassin kill and a Godfather kill on Julie. Yeah, I was um, yeah. Okay, we need to talk to Nano Spark to take a guess of damsel on Jason. Yeah, I talked to I talked to Nano Sparks already, and I said suggest that you do it because Nano's already really sus yeah. by Jason. Yeah. Perfect. Um. Jason, in my eyes, he's either exactly the savant or he's this like damsel bluffing I a savant. He's the damsel because he didn't want to tell me anything that night one. Yeah, and Chad, I don't know if he's just upfront. I am the barber, and he just claimed one of the like. Why did he claim sweetheart? You know, which yeah, is yeah, the yeah. other in play yeah. role. Chad told me barber or damsel. Okay, all right. He just hard claimed barber to me, but we'll <laughs> yeah, see how it goes. I, I, like I said, I thought that Chad is probably an outsider based on like the positioning. Yeah. yeah. I think Jason also is an outsider, so I think Jason could be the damsel, but we'll see. I'll back up. Uh, I'll see if yeah, I, I do too. I think that's our only win con. I think Town oh, yeah. has too much confirmation right. that uh, they know. Yep. I'm going to go back. Apparently was confirmed by the storyteller. Uh, no, oh. spark well, that might have chat. been the issue. Mm, because No, because like, here's the thing. is The thing that I was the issue is that the kind of, you have to choose a few of the clots. You break rules if you don't choose. Uh, Nana, can we chat? Yeah, so, the uh, issue, issue was... was... Is it talk to me? Hey, we all killed Julie. <laughs> um, I... Yeah, can... I killed her and so did. Yeah, and what? so did I. Uh, can, can you climb out as a minion and do the damsel play on Jason? Can I what? Sorry? Just say I am a minion and I pick Jason as the damsel. I think that's how oh, yeah. I think that's our only way to win. Uh okay. I I will do that. Awesome. This is cool. I think it's it's either him or Comrade, but Comrade's claiming Barber now, so Jason um yeah, we think it's both me and Nano think it's Jason. Okay. Uh you and DK. Oh, you and DK V, sorry. Oh, I heard something about because something about a Philo and Max is claiming Huntsman. Max could be the Huntsman. That's what DKV said, and he was oh, saying something about it. Philo, but he said it so fast I didn't understand what he was saying. Uh, about who? I don't know. He was saying something about someone being Philo drunk, but I didn't understand what he was saying. I know uh, Digba is the philosopher, and they made they pick grandmother, which was stones. Um, but Stones was actually the drunk. Um, oh. so, so Stones was already drunk and then he died. Julie, the cannibal ate the drunk, but she saw fake grandmother info. I don't know what. And then, uh, yeah. All right. Well, if they eat the drunk, what happens then? Uh, they get fake information. Oh, um, I didn't wait because... Why would, but they wouldn't be poisoned though. Oh, but because they get the ability of the drunk. I see. Yeah. Um, it's like you think you're a townsfolk, but you're actually drunk. Head up, guys. Oh. No worries. Thank you. Yeah. Stones' oh, grandchild is. Whoever Stones' grandchild is the other five. Anyone else is. Oh my god. I'm going to out it. Everybody. I have to out it, guys. I'm not going to out Stones' grandchild, but I will tell you that on day one, they hard claim to me. And then when Stones did tell me who their grandchild was, we immediately claimed that their grandchild had, like, they, we did name and then roll, and it was exactly the same. So I'm um, in very yeah, inclined in to info, if you want, I don't because care. their grandchild talked to me before I talked to Stones. I'm going to out all my info because it, like, it, needs, it needs to be stated here. You can kill me if you want to. I don't care. So, and this includes everyone else that I believe are in the confirmation chain. You're getting outed as well, except for Max. So, I am not the librarian seeing a drunk. I am actually the philosopher who on the first night became the grandmother. My grandchild was Stones, who ha is the drunk and sees the grandmother token. That player sees Nick. Julie is the cannibal who gained the grandmother ability from the drunk, Stones. I don't know who they saw because they never told me. And then gained the klutz ability when Ezio died, and they both picked Max. The game continued. So from my perspective, that's five players that are all good aligned right now. 
Uh, this is exactly um, what Digbert told me they did. They told me first that they're, they were a grandchild and that they were an artist and that their grandmother would confirm it. And then they said, no, just kidding. I actually followed the grandmother. So Nick yes. was actually um, the drunk. Can, uh, can I quickly just what add something? something? The, the uh, grandmother uh, could just... have made me the grandmother when they told the drunk that they were the grandmother. They could have given me the same ability, but the grandchild that I learned, we confirmed. So either Stones and their grandchild are evil, or Digbert and Nano just gave me, or have given me the exact same story that doesn't really line up. And they both told me, Digbert told me exactly what Nano just told me, which makes me think they were minions scrambling for answers. What? No, Wait, and I believe it's on, popped, Just Julie? on that quickly, Julie. The possibility does exist that you got true info even though Stones was the drug. Yeah. In any world, Dickbird is most likely not the demon. Yeah. I think I, I think he might be a minion or he might be good. Either way, focusing on him is not the best for town but, right now. But and honestly, why did Nano yeah, but Nano and Dickbert told me the, the exact same story? Why did they tell me the exact same Who? long story? Who else story? said that? Digbert and Nano both told me that they were the Philo who picked the grandma. I never said I was Philo. What are you talking about? Or who just said that they were Philo? I, I'm the Philo. Yeah, that's like so. My, the reason why I I said I was the grandchild is looking no. for somebody who would be the grandmother. I already knew that Stones was the drunk. And in fact, Stones didn't even tell me that he had the grandmother token at first anyway. He gave me general artist, and then he came back That's to me. That's true. He told me that he was the grandmother token. Like, I, I was literally fishing to see if I could find a grandmother, because that if I found a grandmother, that also can create a confirmation chain. If I just came out and said that, then I'm just... Like, if I make into day one on the grandmother, is awful, because if, if there is one, then you drunk them. On day two, it'd be great, because then you don't it's, drunk the grandmother. It's not, it's, yeah, I mean, it's it's like... You can interpret it either way, right? Like drunking the grandmother is is learning an evil, as the as a philosopher, or you can wait till day two and just get another good. Like I mean, this is the one guy who's there, but you don't important. learn an evil though. Either like, way, this, this, this is not important for town right now because Digbert is Second not a demon. For nomination. Second call. Digbert okay. nominates DKV. All right, Digbert nominates DKV. Why? Because. Uh, I'm currently living in the world where I believe that Nick is a vigor killed minion, and um, based on what I know from DKB, that uh, implies Nick is not. So I would like to kill DKB, please. Okay, DKB. Yeah, I'll just come off my info. I'm an Oracle. I got a zero on both knights. That's why I think Nick, Nick is good. Um, I I'm confused about this whole like drunk grandmother confirming Nick and Nick saying it's confirmed. Uh, for my POV, there's no evils executed based on my own information, which means that either I'm sat next to a Nodashi, or there's three evils alive, in which case if I'm executed, then it's not good, no? So. I don't want to have to use okay. my dead mode on this, but I will if we have to, but I'd much rather... We need four, everybody. Need four. I'm going so to run it. Live players, though. Wait, Julie, when you got the when you cannibaled the grandma, did you both have the same grandchild? Um like yes, and we separately, like first we both said the name and then we both said the role, and that person so Nick Or is enough. Nick told me their role, and then the grandmother told me their role. So as being the same thing. So Nick a conversation and with grandmother Nick. separately, and Nick told me day one. Grandmother told me last night what they saw their grandmother. For, for Dig, I, I'm not saying that this is the case, but it is also a world where you are the drunk. No. Um. Also, to answer the question, because Julie didn't, no, Julie and the grandmother got two separate grandchildren. Oh. Wait, yeah. sorry. When, when I say grandma, I mean stones. Yeah, um, Stones and Julie got two separate grandchildren. No, uh, like, we got the same one, didn't we? Uh, no, um, you got, no. 
Oh, not no, what you sorry, told sorry, me. Sorry. We got different ones. I'm so sorry. You're right. I'm sorry. We got different ones. I was mixed up. The person that they said was their grandchild claimed to me day one. So Nick told me day one what they were. And then Stone said that they were their grandchild and had that role. I did get a different grandchild. And did you confirm that, like that grandchild? Did you confirm it with them? DKV uh, nominates sports. I am 100% right. sure that person is also good. Everybody, all right. D DKV has nominated Bort. Why? Um, well, basically, they claim two roles to me. Uh, they claim Klutz, which obviously is already another role that's been claimed, and they claim General, which is a, a hard double claim of somebody else that I've talked to. Um, I think that this is most likely the evil one, especially since they voted on me. So I think this is the best execute. Okay, Bort. I vote for everything. So, yeah, you probably shouldn't use that as uh, as an accusation against me. Okay, everybody, four is a tie, five executes. Can we get five on this? Like he's in a hard double claim. Stones, what do you think? Uh, minion, then. Like I don't know. Um, I mean, I don't know. I'm still wrestling with the uh, philosopher it's and my ability. I don't want to. Just a minute. Uh, minute one guys. Here. It's. Oh my god. All right, Bort is on the block with five votes. Final call. Final um, call. Wait, why'd you put the? Oh, okay. uh, because it was time. Um, it was time. I um, didn't have anyone else to execute. A uh, nano spark would like to guess uh, Jason as the damsel. Nano spark has claimed minion and cluck says Jason is the damsel. Thank you. I told you, I, right, Nano wasn't here. I told you Nano was right. evil. There it is. Yeah, that's, the, that's actually, wait, that's the artist that we the knew was evil. 10 seconds. Actually. Okay, let's go. Uh, uh, Comrade uh, nominates like, Nano. Oh, oh okay. and and what was that? What was that? Uh, Comrade Nam nominates Nano. Comrade Chad nominates Nano. Why? Uh, out of himself as a minion? Why would he guess right now? Of all times, why would Nano guess right now? I don't know. Towards the, towards the demon on the block. Mm. All right. That's fair. It's true. Yeah. True. That's fair. But Bort, nom but vo Bort voted for themselves. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. Is it time for my defense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so let's have Nano defense. Uh, so my defense is that um, I figured I'd pull an Ezio buff and just do it for fun. Uh, pretty sure uh, Jason uh, was not the damsel there. I agree. All right, everybody. Uh, we had, let me double check. We had five on board. We'll need six. Um, Digger, I just saw what you put in chat. I told you what role I am that modifies the outsider count. I know. Okay. The outsider said there shouldn't be three, but there's a reason there should be three. Okay. The minions are guessing the damsel. Like, that's why. This, All this right, makes not sense. enough. Final ten seconds. Because it, it just, I, I, like, I, I did it as a joke at the start of the game when it didn't yeah, matter. So right evil. now, like, why would yeah. Nano Spark of all times choose the damsel now? I don't yeah. know. They were confused. Maybe they thought DKB was on the block or Bort. All right, block. Bort has been executed and dies, and we go to sleep. Yeah, like uh, I would yeah, like well. to claim Philo Klutz and pick Max. <laughs> Triple <laughs> confirmation. <laughs> yes. We know Max is good. <laughs> So, uh, well, if Nano is like the assassin, they get a night to kill. Yeah, we should have voted for Nano. All right, can I just get my perspective yeah. here? I agree. There's a legitimate reason to execute boards there, though. Okay, yeah, this is so. I'd like to give my information here as I see it. Um, the first thing that came up to me was uh, Dog came up to me and said, "Hey, I'm the philosopher." Uh, I tried to be the grandmother. Uh, the grandmother is drunk. If there is one, I saw you as the drunk. Right. No, I, said, I lied. You said you are the drunk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If there is a grandmother, they would be drunk. That's right. Yes. Right. So I lied to him and told him two rules because I wasn't sure what was going on. Um, I was trying to talk to Nick. He had a super long conversation with Julie the first day, and I couldn't get a hold of him for the longest time. When I finally could, I asked for a two for two. He gave me the rule I saw him as in one of his two for twos. Um, so that made me kind of confused. Then he died the first night, which made me think maybe he was a vicar killed minion. Um, so I don't know if I'm getting too hung up on the fact that Julie and him had a super long conversation the first day. 
So that's the main thing that's making me think that uh, I'm the drunk and the um, storyteller showed me a minion. Don't stress too much. All conversations with Julie are super long. <laughs> uh, that's just how Julie plays also, the game. Also, if Julie is a minion, then which I don't think they are, then the bigger killed both their minions. And we know that Nick yeah, is a minion, so I think Julie's fair on point. <laughs> I think that Nick, Nick hard claim to me and other people. Somebody else said their role to me at the same time I said theirs. So, yeah, Nick, somebody outed you, but we both outed you at the same time to confirm yeah. you. But if Nick is but... evil, then they just got a completely lucky guess. Yeah. Uh, I'd also funny. like to, well, it'd, it'd be the, like to the demon point bluff, something so. out quickly. Uh, it is, we also know that the minions are most yeah. likely not a godfather, uh, because yeah. uh, the night I died, only Julie died, which means the godfather didn't get an extra kill. Right. right. Unless they both chose Julie, uh, yeah. which would be... So we haven't seen a witch kill. I think we have an I think it's assassin. And something else. We have. I guess a, a, it's. A I doubt it's a Baron somehow? game. So what else? Could uh, the assassin I and mean, the Godfather it, it, have hit the same player? Well, no. Uh, Probably uh, not. No, the no, assassin, no. the Godfather, and the demon would have had to hit the same player. Oh like, shit! An, you're right. An assassin plus the demon could have just both killed Julie at the same time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wait, that's maybe we have Ezio, still unspent though. When Ezio died, somebody if we had a godfather, then when Ezio died, there should have been a second kill. Yeah, that because... was what we were saying. Uh so yeah. it's not a godfather game, unless I'm lying. And I hate to say it, but the storyteller kinda quote unquote confirms me because they quote unquote confirm Julia. Oh Julie. Yeah. And Julie wouldn't have the ability unless I had the ability, which it's sad that that is the case, but that is the case. I mean, yeah. while possible, it's still also possible that the Godfather slash Assassin just pick the same kill as the demon. Yeah, it, it's highly it's possible. possible but, then, they... but then, uh, if we do believe there's a Godfather, then Digbert is lying because Stones also died, and if they were the drunk, the Godfather would have gotten a kill. No, 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 I, I don't think there's a Godfather world. Even we have to believe it. that the Godfather and the Demon chose the same player twice. I think that... No, no, no. The Philo would have made the Grandmother drunk. They wouldn't have made the Grandmother become the drunk. But, but yeah, the Philo but, saw uh, a drunk, uh, from, according to... Yeah. He, the uh, the Digbert claimed grandma, Philo Grandmother who saw Stones as the drunk. So... Yeah. Right, and I think that's nonsense. bullshit because... I don't, I think that Stone... Yeah, that was the case I was making. Uh, mm -hmm. Is that, uh, if it's probably not a Godfather game, but if it is, then Digbert is just lying. No, Digbert is a minion who didn't know what to bluff as, or picked a bluff that was... I mean, he came to me right away and made his play. So. Like or, or is right, and... <laughs> Nick, also, they had the... a storyteller Does control. Philo or... act before grandmother? What's I act before. Yeah, if he's a man. Philo uh, 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 acts before minions get their info. Philo always goes first on any script that it's in. Because Philo could go into Poppy Girl, which alters right. the minion and demon info. Not on this script, but in other scripts. Or like. Wait, just, uh, just a theory. If Nanospark is the demon and makes a damsel guess, that doesn't use the minion's damsel guess, does it? No. Because no. it needs to be a minion that gets. Alright, let's get Nano! No. Let's. Let's not get Nano. And personally, I think Nano's the, uh. The Nodashi. I mean, it's possible. Hey, I'm. I don't know how. There's I can believe both there. Stones and Digbert, but I'm some reason inclined to. But if that's true, then we're on the same alignment. So if you think that Stones is good, then I'm good. And if you think that I'm evil, then Stones is evil. Like no, no, well, no, not necessarily. No, 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 because Stones, Stones could be, Stones could be the drunk. So either Stones was drunk, and you got a different grandchild for the day. And then would Stones have gotten a new grandchild when they were no longer drunk? Julie, because... if you got a grandchild, no. oh, yeah, if I'm the drunk, but I thought I was the grandmother, then you would get a pretend grandchild. But right. if, yeah, if but you uh, don't the know what... grandchild that Julie got was confirmed. So the only possible world that I can think of where Stones and Digbert is both good, 
is the one where Digbert is the drunk, who thinks they're a philosopher, who philosophizes into grandmother, which then the storyteller showed them the uh, the real grandmother as the drunk you to know. kind of fuck with them. And then the grandmother confirms the grandchild, the cannibal confirms the grandchild, and the klutz confirms... And I mean, I could be drunk, yeah. Uh, but you That's know, the like, only like, world where you're no. both good. Like, if one of you could be game, evil. No, if it's a vigor game, we can both be good. Well, what? yeah, that also. But no, wait, yeah. yeah cause, absolutely. But then, <laughs> but then explain why Julie saw a grandchild whose role they confirmed without talking to the grandchild? Oh, sorry, I confirmed, so I saw, so I asked, so I asked if their role day one, and then their grandmother told me the same role, could be a black. I'm not I got a different grandchild, and my grandchild that I got when I became the grandmother was Max. Yeah, and they call called Max. To Which me. is why I believe uh, so... also felt safe flutzing Max because I got Max as my grandchild. So Max, I know who you are. I know what you're up to. I think everyone knows what I am by now. Yeah. Also, this would be great if Ezio just, uh, and... keep quiet. Uh, yeah. Sorry. I was gonna say it'd be great if Ezio and Julie were both evil and Max was the demon and they're both like clutch confirming them. Shh. I'm, no, I'm just really struggling with whether or not yeah, I how that happens, but it's uh, it, it is it is completely possible. It is completely possible. Uh, that okay, you can't say it on the stream, but the storyteller just messaged me, "Who do I want to kill?" And I chose Max. And then I was told, "I am now the No Dashi." Uh, so I don't know how I became the demon, but uh, let's see how this plays out. All right, everybody. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Max died in the night. Comrade Chad died in the night. Yeah, there it is. Assassin right, right. got a kill. Yeah, there's yeah. Now that I'm dead, thing. it's uh, time to out all of my info. And who died? Sorry. It's in chat. Max and who? And Comrade. I think Nano was clearly the assassin. Yes. Oh, yeah. God, Blurt. How did the Fengu jump to the cannibal? D2, D2 is impossible. A fangu cannot. Oh, ignore board's uh, savant info. It doesn't work. Yeah, it's it's one hundred percent false. Yeah, don't but worry Ezio, about it. Ezio, is there a world in which, because we've shared all of our information with each other, based on the grandmother, grandchild, Philo claims, can Nick, Digbert, and Stones all be good? If I'm drunk, yes. So here's the thing, it is possible if Dickbird is the drunk. However, if in any world where all three of them are good, uh, DKV is also most likely good because they are getting an Oracle Zero. If DKV, if Nick is evil, then DKV is lying. Where's the demon then? I claim DKV, you still have zero? I yeah. have I no have idea one. where the demon is. I honestly have no idea. I have a one, Jason. Uh, Rufio came. Um, I'm gonna out that I was yeah, Barber. Actually, Rufio, just 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 say it now. Like was Barber? Comrade Chad is Barber, so, no so they're gonna have barber. the Barber ability thing. Oh. Are you still the Barber? That's correct. I am still the Barber. Yes. Oh. So so um, I'll just say it. I'm the balloonist. Um, so night one I was shown Nano Spark. Night two I was showed Enzio Puff. Uh, night three I was shown Bort. And night four, I saw Digbert. Oh, who was what I told you? Nano, Enzio, Digbert, and who? Uh, Bort. Uh, Bort, what are you claiming? I want. Uh, what are you really claiming? General. Uh, I feel like, uh, in the world where Bort's telling the truth, because. Did we uh we executed board so uh, in no, any world they're a minion. Oh, yeah, we did yeah. Execute no, board. we executed board. board. Yeah, we so in any world they're a minion. They're not the demon. I know I'm the outsider, which means between Digbert and Nana Spark, there's either a minion demon combo or a demon outsider combo. Why do you believe board? I'm I'm saying well, if board is townsfolk, then it's a demon minion between the two. If Bort was just a minion, then it's a demon outsider between the... Oh, demon townsfolk between the two. Uh, because uh, Bort's not the demon. He can't be the demon because we killed him. What if the Balloonist is the demon? 
So yeah, I'm not, so, those balloonist info doesn't make sense to me. It's weird. Where's it, the uh, where's it posted? If it does, then the townsfolk and Nano between Nano and Digbert would be minion demon is the only way that balloonist info makes sense. Sure. Yeah. Uh, but where's but, the balloonist info right. at? It's all right, people. I think I think it's safe to do this. I am an outsider. Which which one? Oh, okay. Why don't you take a guess based on how hesitant well, you if were? You the are, damsel, if you're the damsel, if you're the damsel, you're the damsel you can out because the cannibal's dead. Yeah. Uh, and your ability barber. can no longer be. Are you the you're barber? The barber. The barber's dead, is what I'm saying. So the barber can't swap. Wait, but if there's still a minion in play and you're implying damsel, then uh, comrade barber. is claiming barber. Uh, comrade's claiming barber. Yeah, that's if what it... I mean. Because if if I outed as damsel and then uh, they died, then they could have swapped the damsel into an alive player. But then, but then, they, know. But then they already know, so it's and too late. Would have been, Hold on. You would have become a different player, I believe. Yeah. If Barber swapped two, even if dead, you would be told that you now have a new role, right? Yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait. This is this is pretty this is pretty uh, useful. I'm the artist. Hello. Uh, day one, I asked, are there three? Like, it, just looking at the script and seeing how many outsider modificators there are, I asked, are there three or more outsiders in play? I got told a no. Right now, That's the only way. Not true. Like right, exactly. That's why I was pushing as Nano as being the uh, no dashi this entire time. Right. I I believe that there are more than three outsiders, given how many ways there are to add outsiders. Now, if the if Digbert is a philosopher, didn't turn into the artist. I'm not drunk that way. Um, I, I just like, I'm trying to figure out ways in which my information could be wrong. I'm not, apparently I'm not the drunk because the philosopher grandma didn't see me. So that there's that. Wait a uh, minute. Wait, Connor, you're the barber. Comrade, Chad. All right. Comrade. Yeah. You were the, yeah. the barber. Okay. Yeah. So, so the balloonist info can still, it's, I, I just don't understand it. They could still be the nominations are open. Right, and you know, the, the damsel. Wait, can Jason do it? Yeah, wait, hold on, hold on. So my, my two worlds are either Nano is a starting Nodashi, or he was just the assassin who now could be the Nodashi if the barber swap happened. The barber swap happened, yeah. Right, if the barber swap the happened, barber then swap Nano could have there. swapped. Also, if if Nano is just the Nodashi, then that balloonist info doesn't make sense because it, it like, you could, if everyone's trying to build a plausible world where it's sober, I, I believe Nano to be the Nodashi, so... I'm going to go wrong straight anyway. to the, like, second I call. I mean, I a lot of times. Hold on. Nano Spark. Nano and Bort. What was that? The hair nomination? Yes. Okay. Dick Burton nominates Nanosperk. All right. Why? Well, we're on final five. We have two executions left. So if we miss and this is a minion, which they're dual <coughs> for sure, then whatever. Um, if we believe they're just the starting Nodashi poisoning Jason and Rufio, then we got them, boys. Uh, if not, we reassess, I guess. But I think this is the most logical kill today. Um, also, yeah, if Rufio was the starting Nodashi DKB, then it would go through comrade which would be the reason why your info would be weird as well all right nano spark uh so my defense is that i didn't get a chance to publicly claim with everyone sharing so much information but as i said to a few people in private i am the uh huntsman uh jason uh told me he was the damsel when i told him i was huntsman so then i used my ability on him and then he told me afterwards that uh he was not actually the um damsel so uh that, that's why i guessed him as a as a damsel um just uh i i don't know um just for fun i guess uh and in retrospect maybe that wasn't such a smart uh idea because it seems people are really suspicious of me um but sorry what was that um just um yeah uh i'm the huntsman uh uh i guess uh i i'm spent but at this point we should probably be going after a demon candidate all right everybody we need three i'm gonna run it even uh, if anyone thinks that nano is even a minion the fact that there could have been a barber swap means he yeah. is now a demon candidate uh, 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 info, your double yeah. confirmed klutz player is the huntsman <laughs> Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so, uh, nice job, Nano. Yeah, about that. 
four is enough. Oh, uh, DKV nominates Digbert. Why did you DKV use your... nominates Digbert? Why? Okay, here's what I think happened. I have two Oracle Zeros and then an Oracle One. I believe Digbert to be the drunk. I believe Comrade to be the Fangu that jumped to Digbert, and that's why Rufio has Digbert as the demon on the fourth day. Um, I think it makes sense based on the outsider count, and there could be a Godfather of minus one somewhere to hide the Fangu. Uh, but unless we vote on this today, like, what are we gonna do tomorrow? Like, is Digbert just gonna be cleared of being the Fangu jump to? Like, I, I don't know. I'll take your defense if you don't want to. Take my defense. Okay, if that's true, then how how is my information wrong? If if Digbert is the drunk, uh, how would I have gotten the information as the artist that there are two or fewer outsiders? Uh, can I pause the world? Yeah, well, wait, let, let me respond to that. So the Godfather minus one, the Fangu plus one. Does that make sense? Okay, then There's explain the damsel. There's a damsel in play. You, th you think the well, damsel the counts as one of the, the damsel, outsiders? Right. Right. So, okay. So, if you if you believe there to be a damsel, you believe Ezio to be the klutz, and then you believe there to be a drunk, then that already doesn't work. All right, everybody, I'm gonna run it. We need three. Godfather plus one, I think. Uh, I can pause the world that actually makes sense. Which... Oh, there's a bonus. Yeah, uh, there's a bonus. Yeah. You might also not be the drunk. Uh, you might DKV might be an outside. Uh, might be the starting Nodaji because it would go through me and poison you. Who is not enough? That's true. All right, so, I'm gonna say final ten seconds here. So it might literally be just me and the damsel and comrades lying. That is also a possibility. Um, uh, Nano Spark will nominate DKV. Nano Spark nominates DKV. Why? Uh, so I'm the huntsman, and if I'm in a contradiction, a double claim with uh math. Then I don't know. Maybe the evil team is like Ezio, Puff, Dewey, and like. Wait, no. no. Or Ezio, I... it's probably Ezio, Puff, Max, and DKV. No, I saw that. I saw it's, that. Oh, Julie, 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 uh, Julie, so don't bad. don't vote. There's no point. Don't he's just panicking. As the huntsman, he, as yeah, he's Rainbow. just panicking. You don't have to fight. He he's making up as much info as he Wait, can because he's panicking. You saw him as your huntsman as the grandmother. I when I was made into the grandmother I as symbol, I got Max as my grandchild. Well, who and I'm the sober, like and and Stones is just the drunk. Now Stones drunk. Maybe, but even if we're confirming a line of Nano Spark is executed and dies. Good night. Huh. Okay, I'm just gonna get ready quickly, but I kill Jason tonight. <laughs> we all knew that Nano Spark in any world was a minion because they're claiming yes. huntsman yes. and they also tried to make a damsel pick. So yes. in the case of a barber being real. Uh, in case of the barber swap happening, we had to have killed Nano Spark because otherwise the final three would be a bloodbath because we wouldn't know if the minion became the demon or if the demon right. just didn't swap because the demon also just can choose not to barber swap. Yeah, personally, for what it's worth, I think that the demon, the the last remaining demon candidate is Rufio. Why would you say that and during the night phase? Why? What? I I think you're evil. I, I I personally think the last remaining demon candidate is Digbird. Oh no, that's not good. Could be. Oh wait, no, sorry, I mean Jason. No wait, DKV. Yeah, totally DKV. <laughs> what? Did... Hi right, everybody. Example. Good morning, Jason. You're dead. Yeah, this is your final show. three. Okay, DKV. Are you gonna publicly claim what you are? No, let's do yeah. a round robin first. Please uh, start with the live players, uh, facilitated by Tyler, if possible. That'd be great. All right, everybody, fine. Round Robin. Okay, we'll start at the top. We'll go top. We'll go counterclockwise. We'll start with Digbert. Yep. Uh, I am the Philo grandmother who learns Stones is the drunk. Okay, and then DKV. Uh, Oracle posting info in chat. All right, and Rufio. Um, I'm the balloonist. I learned Nano Night One, Enzo Night Two, Bort Night Three, and Digbert Night Four. All right, everybody. I guess we're going to go to the dead players. I'm going to start up uh, at the top with Max. Uh, I was the Huntsman. I died the night I was going to pick Bort. 
All right, Bort. Uh, damsel. All right, Nick. Amnesiac, I learned that the clubs Damsel and Barber are in play. All right, Julie. Uh, grandmother, after Stones died, I was told that I know the Huntsman to be Max. And then after Ezio Puff died, I klutz uh, with my guess of Max. Stones. Grandmother, I saw Nick as the amnesiac. Jason. Uh, artist, my day one artist question was, are there three or more outsiders? And I was told a no. In play. Nanospark. Uh, I'm the Huntsman. Uh, I used uh, my ability on uh, Jason after he told me he was the damsel. And then afterwards, he told me that uh, he wasn't actually the damsel. And Chad. I'm the barber. That is your round robin. Yeah, I don't get to round robin. Oh, as you puff. Yeah, you can if you want. Yeah, but I don't. Yeah. Uh, I get to. Apparently, I'm not popular enough. <laughs> I'll use my I'll use my round robin time to say, uh, I think based on the fact that DKV was on the block and then nominated Bort, and then suddenly it got lifted off. I think uh, Nanospark is starting Nodashi that passed to DKV with the barber swap. Uh, that's the world I choose to believe. Uh, Y'all can discuss any others. But why would Nano try and nominate me at the end? Because he is evil, so he's trying to clear you. Why can't? Because uh, he's be he's evil. out at evil. That uh, I mean, it could be. Like I said, there are multiple worlds. That's the one I think. Yeah. Most well, likely. In my eyes, Rufio is always evil because of my oracle number. Um, there is a world where Digbert's always the demon always been a demon or that digbert was fangu jumped to or that rufio was fangu jumped to or there's like i i don't know basically if there's a fangu that jumped then both of my living two neighbors are are evil so oh i should probably just point out your oracle information says exactly that comrade and nano spark are evil together because board cannot be evil since the huntsman is in the play and there needs to be a damsel and the huntsman cannot be evil since he was clut klutz picked twice so uh, given the fact that you got a uh, one on the night where both Max, Bo where Bo wait, Max, Bort, and Comrade died, it confirms that Comrade is the evil. And then a two on the night Nano Spark got executed uh, means that either Jason or Nano Spark is evil. But I don't see why uh, a demon would kill themselves at this point. So it's probably just Nano Spark and Comrade. Just to sprinkle this on too, if you look at the voting history, um, when we had DKV on the block, Nano conveniently also voted to lift him off the block on board. Can Digbird not? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. That's it. Oh, my God. Can Digbird not just be starting demon? Um, because yeah. let me get this right. Stones, Digbird had fake had correct info or fake info about well, Stones' role. He went right up to me and he told me that uh, he was the philosopher who picked grandmother night one and saw me as the drunk grandchild. Well, that's that seems really easy to like like just saying somebody's the drunk like they don't have to I guess know. your role at all. They just have to spread this info. He told yeah, me something I different day one, by the way. He told me that he had a grandchild, or was the grandchild, and was the artist, or had a grandchild who was the artist. So, here's the reason I don't think it's Dick Bird, is if you look at the voting history, A, uh, they voted on Nanospark, which is uh, at the uh, straight a confirmed minion, and B, they tried to uh, get themselves executed when I was on the block, which was just a standard outsider. I don't see a demon behaving that way, in my opinion. Or, let's throw it out there. I got Digbert and Stones into a chat day two. We knew Stones was the grandmother. Digbert was claiming to be grandchild at that point. I got them both into a chat, and Digbert panicked. Nominations would... are open. I, I've explained this multiple times of why I stated I was the grandchild and not the grandmother. There's a very good reason to do it when you're the philo. So I want to find the actual grandmother. But yeah, I don't think Digbert is evil. He doesn't read Demon really? to me. I think it's literally between DKV and Rufio. Yeah, me too. Uh, so and... I just yeah. don't like how everybody seems to trust Digbert. And he's like putting himself... Like, why is Digbert putting himself in five-way confirmation chains when there's... As far as I'm concerned, 
he just told somebody that they're drunk. He's not confirmed at all to me. Or like, is anybody confirmed? Well, yeah, yeah. Am I, am I right, wait, 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 DKV, DK, can you can you build another argument for Digbert? Because right now, if you are accusing, if you're trying to prove your innocence by accusing Digbert, I think your accusation is very weak. Okay, Digbert, no I dashi. Trust him because of voting history. Digbert, no dashi, Nano Sparks, assassin. Okay, then please explain how I got the information that there are two or fewer outsiders. Uh, Rufio nominates DKV. All right, Rufio. Sorry, where were, I can't click it. There we go. Why? Nanospark just lives, I guess. Um, just. It's... Oh, he's dead. Wait, what? <laughs> you are dead, Nanospark. You do have a dead vote, but. Um. Yeah, I'll just leave this up to the group. All right, DKV. Um. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna counter nom Digbert when this is over. Uh, I'm not a good execute. Uh, I'm not sure who is the evil one out of Rufio or Digbert, but I'm pretty sure it's Digbert. Okay, everybody, we only need two. I'm gonna run it. And I'm gonna try to hurry what up. If it's, what if it's no, what if it's Rufio? Yeah, I mean, it could be Rufio. Could be either, right? It's a fifty-fifty. Did yeah. anybody confirm oh, Rufio? Like, it no. seems like it's no. really up their there. own their yeah. own um, balloonist information doesn't make sense because if we believe that Digbert is not the demon, then then the Luna's information doesn't make sense. Right. Which would make... So it, it, you'd probably be Godfather Carol. plus one then? But if, DKV is is the no, but if DKV is the Nodashi and Comrade is the Barber, it yeah. would go through and poison the Balloonus. So that does also exist. This is very yeah. difficult. Yeah. 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 DKV Nodashi works pretty well. D DKV nominates Digbert. Alright, DKV nominates Digbert? Why? I don't know. It just feels weird that everybody's trusting Digbert the entire game. I believe Digbert is an Odashi. Uh, Nanosparks dead throat on me, so I think that should say enough to you guys about like who you think is evil. Um, we should execute Digbert. All right, Digbert. My only, my only defense to this is I feel like I actually have not been trusted the entire game, and I've had to fight really hard to get people to believe my info, because, yeah, it is ridiculous. Thank you, Tyler. That's it. All right. Uh, I'm gonna run it, everybody. I believe we had five. We're gonna need six. It's a damsel. Uh, I literally, information-wise, I think Digbert is evil. Voting-wise, I think he's good. Well, the information is really weird. Like, I don't know. Yeah, uh, but I like, think, I think honestly, like, it's a fifty with the barber. It's not a enough. 50 /50 between DKV Digbert. and Rufio. I just want to ask Digbert, would you like to nominate Rufio? <clears throat> Before I answer that question. How does town feel? Would you rather leave it on DKV or would you rather be non Rufio? One, two, three, four. We have enough votes to lift it. It's a six, town... seven. Better just be yeah, if, if we're, I, I think all of town is probably in agreement that you are good. So do you do what yeah. you will. I mean, no, I, I would like to know no, the not. consensus of people before I do it. Uh, we have to do it all on, together right. if we're going to do it. So if we like DKV, we leave it. And if not, we all have to vote Rufio. Well, I, I don't know if there are enough. Are there enough votes? Like there if there's still votes. There's only three. All right. I don't like. I don't give you ten seconds from all of town. That's fine. Digbert will not nominate Rufio. I think it's DKV anyway. Okay. Dig Digbert has chosen not to nominate Rufio. That means no more nominations can happen, and that means DKV is executed and dies. And I would like to give my con congratulations to Rufio's team. The evil team. Fuck. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It was a fifty-fifty, right? Like we didn't know. Yeah, it's a it's a fifty-fifty. Yeah. Like, All right. I'll do. I, you guys want to hear the rundown real quick? Uh, All right. Apologies, everyone. I'm just gonna depart. Yep. But thank you so much for the game. I really liked it. Oh, thanks for playing, Rufio. No worries. Sorry about that. I was gonna leave. <laughs> oh wow. Thank you. Wins and drops mic. No, no, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, Feel yeah, free yeah, to message yeah. me hate mail. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> thank <laughs> you. <laughs> if only DKV like sided with us and Digbert, then it, like no. So, because I also noticed now Rufio like voted like only okay, like yeah, those, barely. Were very evil. Yeah. So like he voted ahead. only with evil votes and then never nominated until let's the end. Of, yeah, let's kind of fill in who you guys know. Uh, Ezio Puff was your klutz. Um, Max was your huntsman. Bort, Bort was your damsel. Nick was your amnesiac, whose was ability strong. whose ability was uh, if killed at night, you learn which outsiders are in play. Oh. Oh, that's kind of clogged. <laughs> um... Kind of like a Raven Keeper, I thought. But so, what yeah. uh, outsiders did he learn? 
Uh, he learned Damsel Klutz Barber. Huh. But uh, why didn't you say that? Because it confirms the barber. He said and it. I round robin, and it's in chat. Okay, well, I, I apologize, because I... I right. As like you please let the round robin continue. Yep. So yeah, we had sorry. Julie the Cannibal, uh, who did get uh, correct grandmother information when we killed Stones, the sober grandmother. Um, and then Julie... So Stones saw the grandmother in the amnesiac... Nick, and then Julie saw the uh, Huntsman and Max. Uh, we have Jason, your artist, who was poisoned by the Nodashi. Um, we have Nano Spark, your starting assassin. Uh, we have Rufio, your starting um, godfather, who ended up becoming the Nodashi in the barber swap. Uh, we have Comrade Chad, your barber. We have DKV, the starting Nodashi, who yeah. became the Godfather, and Digbert, your poisoned philosopher. Yeah. Wait, oh, so DKV poisoned Jason through an outsider and two minions. Yeah, yep. that is such a long Wait. stretch. That's a big one. Yeah. What was what was DKV? Wait, what was uh? That's what were Comrade and DKV? Uh, Comrade was the barber. DKV was the starting Nodashi who became, who swapped himself with Rufio, the godfather. Yeah, that, that was a clever move. Did you despite the swap? No, they, they did the swap. Yep. I'm kind of sad I didn't hear Nick's info because, like, that would have pointed to Rufio. But what caused the swap? The, the swap barber. was the barber dying. Okay, yeah. yeah the barber died. I just want to point out, Julie, you'll like this, okay? Uh, the night you died, you were first targeted by DKV, the Nodashi at the time. Then you were chosen by the assassin Nanospark. Uh, and then you were chosen by Rufio, the godfather at the time, to kill you. All three fuck? players killed Wait. you, Julie. And it was the only death in the night. <laughs> I'm surprised. Yeah, that that me. Why did you show me, um, what's his name? Stones is the grandmother of the drunk. so badly? Wait, wait, wait. I only told DKV that I was. Uh, I told DKV I was Savant, Cannibal, or Barber. I hope. I hope good everybody both had. Are, all three fun. are good things. Yeah, that was a good game. That was good. That was good. Very good.